what election was supposed to be a peaceful process where people go out and vote so why the attack on candidates who are actually coming out to contest for election now this is actually coming from an attack on the labor party governorship candidate at an actual today in Imo state on at obb orie obb market well his convoy was attacked according to them by the opposition party here is the video highlight from that one don't forget to subscribe if you're new here drop a comment below Sir, I am Joshua, Joshua, come, come and collect this number. The number zero is zero zero six seven six three forty fourteen fourteen twenty fourteen twenty one. Good day, gentlemen of the press. Welcome to this press conference. November 11 is a few days away, and I am here to address you all on some very important developments. The other day, President of Nigeria Labour Congress, Comrade Joe Ajero, was attacked and brutalized in the most inhuman form right here in Imo State. He was here to lead peaceful protests over unpaid wages due to Imo state workers. He was beaten to stupor and allegedly abducted by security personnel. It is unimaginable that the leader of Nigerian workers could be treated so. This is totally unacceptable and indeed very condemnable. Imo lights are not known for this low level of intolerance and recklessness. Hence, every true citizen of Imo state, especially workers, must condemn this act. Globally, the labor movement has been in solid solidarity with workers whose many contributions to society are often undermined by governments who refuse to fulfill their obligations to workers. No doubt, decent work is not just about right to gainful employment, but also about right to earn decent wages, freedom of choice, and equal opportunities. I vehemently condemn the attack on the president of the NLC. This is an attack on the nation, Nigerian workers, and indeed the Nigerian families and true democracy. Never again will this happen in Imo soil, not while I'm governor. INEC should ensure they provide adequate security in all polling units and collection centers in Imo state so that all eligible voters are not disenfranchised. It is no longer secret that he addressed reports, allegations of APC. We officially put INEC on notice that the APC is planning heavily to influence the outcome of the election 
through compromised ad hoc staff and a few corrupt officials. In the last two weeks, video evidences in circulation show that communities, the Were West, Uguta, Okigwe, Ituboma, ETC, where APC leaders are harvesting details of voter scans. This is criminal and an attempt to subvert the will of the people. I call on INEC and security agents to be on alert and checkmate these efforts at rigging the election and ensure that all sensitive materials do not get into the wrong hands. It is important to restate that all collation should be done at the official designated centers, not AG council headquarters. Specifically, Ishii Alamba, not INEC office, was burned down. So INEC should publicly announce a public primary school as collection center for Ishii Alamba, no. This should also be the case in every other location with similar challenges. We will use all lawful means to resist any plan to collect results in any place other than officially designated locations at the world level and at the local government level. We call on INEC as a matter of urgency to publish the polling centers where elections will not hold. This should be in the public knowledge. I condemn reported efforts by the government of Imo State to block accommodation in all hotels in the world. I call on all hotels to resist this anti-democratic, anti-people move. I call on security agents to maintain order on election day and to be impartial. I neck in the past elections, there are cases where collation has been moved from designated world collation centers. They moved all world collation to the local government. And that's where rigging takes place. We will never allow it to happen in this election. They must follow due process at every turn. We have heard rumors about how they are going to attack these materials coming from the CBN. How, if they don't succeed, they plan to attack it uh, from World Collection Centers, if they have it in World Collection Centers, going to local government collection centers, or from local government collection centers to state collection centers. I'm putting the security agencies on notice. This is a standalone election. We only have election in three states in the entire federation of 36 states. If we don't have enough security agents to monitor and protect this process, then what are we talking about? But I have confidence in the security agency to monitor this process so that voting will take place in only the designated places. In this election, there will be no case of insecurity. Well, we have enough manpower to check, make, to surround everywhere and protect the people and cast their votes. Also, INEC, I'm putting INEC on notice that they have enough staff to monitor this process and give, renew the confidence of Nigerians in the electoral process. This is very, very key. More so that President Bola Mantribu has been confirmed by the Supreme Court. This is a test case for him and for the future of Nigerian democracy. Calling on him, I'm calling out President Ahmed Bola to, to ensure that the right things are done. I believe he will do the right thing. And then I'm putting everybody in Imo State on notice. See what happened to NLC president. The Labour Congress president, a national figure, can be beaten the way he was beaten. So you people can imagine what you look forward to in the next four years if this man is given another chance to step back into the glass house. Finally, Nemo, this is your moment. Let's ensure that we come out to vote massively. I will protect your votes. Nemo lights. This is the right time to take back your state. Please, I'm calling on all Nemo lights all lovers of freedom, all Democrats, to come out on November 11, cast your votes, stay at the polling unit where you cast your votes. Make sure that the results, the votes are counted, the results transmitted, uploaded, and then it is entered into that uh, from EC8. Make sure the you people will follow it, get to the World Collection Center, all the youths, we are trying to make sure that at least 40 youths from each, youths and women, women and youths, from each polling unit will escort this result to the World Collection Center. And collection must take place at the World primarily. 
If not, those people are not living there. So we are going to, uh, I'm putting our neck on notice that the right things must be done in Nemo State. I've heard of cases before where they moved collation from war and now collected at the local government collection center. That will never happen again in Nemo State. We'll stop that. So I'm calling on all of you. Let's take back our state, please. Enough is enough. Thank you. Please, sir. Before you talk to us, please, Everybody should vote Labour Party. That's the party for Imo State. Papa, Mama, Pique. That's the party. That's the party for Imo State. Party that will bring development, bring progress, create employment. The party for the youth. That's why we have a youth as deputy governor. These, these you people are, listen, I'm here for you people. I'm here so that I can have a better tomorrow.